Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, uh, we are required to estimate the force F required to lift the rear tires of the car off the ground. Right? So we have to find this force F which is required to lift these uh, rear tires from the ground. Right? And it is said that you may assume that part of CD of the dolly jake is horizontal. Right? So this CD part uh, is horizontal. Right? This is assumption. And it is said that the mass of the car and the driver combine is 700 kg with mass center at G. The driver applies the brake during the jake. State any additional assumptions, right? So the mass will be acting at this particular uh, point G, that is the center of mass. Let's say that this is the weight of the car plus the driver, right? So this is 700 into 9.81. So this is a uh, 6867 newton, right? So I will write that this weight is 6867 newtons, right? And similarly, there will be a force, the normal force on this tire, on the front tire. Let's say this is an A, right? And let's say that there will be also the normal forces. So this a, let's say this is an B. And here this uh, Jake will apply the forces in this direction, that is, this, this is let's say Cy and here we will have Cx force, which will be acting like this. This is Cx, right? And uh, here we will have that friction force as well, right? So let's say that there is the friction force and let's say that that force is Fe. So now if we apply the summation of moment about point A equals to 0 and we are considering the car as a free body diagram, right? So when the rear tires are just lifted, then the floor will not be in contact with the tire. So then and B force will be 0, right? So there will be no force at this point B, right? So if we apply the summation of moment about point A and if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive, so as we can see that this CY is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point A. So I will write uh, CY and the perpendicular distance of this CY from that point A is the summation of 1625 plus this plus this, right? So we will write 1625 plus 1370 plus 370 mm, right? And as we can see that this weight is producing the clockwise moment about that point A. So I will write minus 68, 67. And the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point A is this 1625, right? So you will multiply this with 1625. And this is equal to 0. And the here in the problem statement it is said that state any additional assumption. So the additional assumption is that the moment produced by this Cx is negligible, right? So we say that Cx, the moment produced by this Cx is zero, right? So then we will have this equation, right? So from this equation, we can find Cy. So Cy will be equal to, if we bring this to the other side of the equation, so this will be equal to this thing. And if we divide uh, both sides of the equation by the summation of this, so first let me find this sum, right? So this sum will be 1625 plus 1370 plus 370 so this is 3365 right so this is the sum is 3365 then cy will be equal to 6867 into 1625 divided by 3365 right so cy is 6867 into 1625 divided by 3365 so this is approximately 3316 or we can write that this is 3316.16 newtons now if we consider this uh, jake as a free body diagram right so what will happen is that uh, this car will apply the same cy force on this uh, jake in the opposite direction right so we will have that cy force now th that force will be acting vertically downward like this right this is that cy force and whose magnitude is now known right and similarly uh, th there will be a force in the horizontal direction as well right so th that cx force will be acting in the opposite direction now right? so this will be that cx force so now if we consider this as a free body diagram 
right? So then we will be able to find this force F, which is required to lift the rear wheels of this car. So again, if we apply the summation of moment about point D equals to zero, if we consider this as a free body diagram, and if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive. So now as we can see that this force F is producing the clockwise moment about that point D. So I will write minus F and the perpendicular distance of this F from that point D is 1200 mm. So I will multiply this with 1200 and this CY is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point D. So I will write plus CY magnitude is known which is 3316.16. 3, and the perpendicular distance of this CY from that point D is this 190 mm. So I will multiply this with 190. And again, the assumption is that the moment produced by this CX about that point D is negligible. So this will be equal to 0. So from this, we can find that this is minus 3316.16 into 190 divided by minus 1200 so this will become positive right so this is 3316.16 into 190 divided by 1200 so this is 525 newtons approximately so f is equal to 525 newtons so 525 newton force is applied to lift uh, the rear wheels of this given car. So I hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution. Uh, like this video if this helps in your learning and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.